All right, hello Wildcats. Today we are going to be looking at estimating products. We are on lesson two, page 185 if you are not there. Today our objectives are I can estimate products. Estimation is a lot like rounding or taking a good guess of where you're going to be at. So if you're not on page 185, go ahead and get there now as we get started. And we're going to start today with our real world link. We are looking at skateboarding. The record for the greatest distance traveled on a skateboard in 24 hours was set in a recent year by James Peters. He traveled 7.6 miles per hour. And down below, it gives us this, this uh, line here, and it's got 7, 7.5, and 8. And it says, what whole number is 7.6 close to? Well, if we look on here, 7.6 is going to fall somewhere right here. 7.6. Okay, so what is that close to? Is it closer to 8 or closer to 7? Right, 8. So if we did 8, let's scoot this up just a little bit. If we did 8 miles in 24 hours, 8 times 24 hours. It would tell us how far he went in that 24 hours. So 24 times 8. 8 times 4 is 32. Put the 2 down, carry the 3. 8 times 2 is 16. 17, 18, 100, 192 miles. So this guy went 192 miles on a skateboard in 24 hours. That's a lot. Is your estimate higher or lower than the actual distance traveled? Well, if we want to do the actual, we are going to, let's see, we are going to take the actual 7.6 times 24 hours. Now, if your multiplication skills is not the greatest, don't worry because we're going to go over this together. Actually, I'm going to rewrite this and I'm going to scoot in a little bit here so you can see a little better. So 24 times 7.6. I'm going to write it this way to make it a little bit better. Get rid of this so it's straight up and down so you can see it better. All right, we're always going to start with our ones column. So 6 times 4 is 24. Put the 2 up. Then we have to do the ones times this 10. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14. I'm done with my ones column. I have to put a 0 down to move over to my tens. 7 times 4 is 28. Put the 2 down, put the 2 up. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2, 16. We're done multiplying. We can add them up. 4 plus 0 is 4. 8 plus 4, 12. Good. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8, and 1 plus nothing is 1. Now, we have one decimal place. We always start from the left count over our decimals, decimal places and we have one place. So over here, guess what? We just go over one place. So our actual is 182.4 miles. All right, and it says, is our estimate higher or lower than the distance traveled? So is that number higher or lower than the actual distance traveled? It is a little bit higher. And we can just say 192 is higher than 182.4. That's all we have to say. All right, so then it tells us I'm going to scoot up just a little bit. Hopefully you can still see. All right. A new record was set later by Ted McDonald. 
He traveled 10.1 miles in 24 hours about, this is that keyword about, remember that when you're testing, about just means approximately. How much further did Ted, tra Ted McDonald travel? So we've got 10.1, is that closer to 10 or closer to 11? Closer to 10 or closer to 11? Right, it's closer to 10. So if we take 10 times 24, and remember, anytime you multiply times 10, just add a zero on. So that is 240. We don't even need to multiply that. It's already out there for us. All right, so if we did 240 and we subtract his 192, that other approximate number, okay, we'll get the difference between the two and that will tell us about how much further he traveled. All right, 10 minus two is eight. Oh, I gotta borrow again. 13 minus nine, four, and one minus one is zero. So how much further did he go? About 48 miles further. All right, when we look at our mathematical practices down below here, we gotta really persevere with problems with this one. We are, we could construct an argument as to why one is smaller than the other. We can um, use our mathematical tools, adding, subtracting, multiplying, designing. Of course, we have to attend to precision um, because we have to make sure those numbers are precise. And we're using repeated reasoning. All right, we are gonna move on. If you need to take a pause, go ahead and do so. I'm gonna move on to page 186 next page over.